this quiet rural area in eastern Afghanistan was this morning met by sheer destruction. A powerful earthquake rocking the mountainous region of Paktika has crippled homes, livelihoods and killed hundreds. The death toll will continue to rise as locals scrape through the rubble of homes made from mud and bricks. They can only hope they find some signs of life. With many international aid agencies fleeing the country after the Taliban takeover last year, a response was slow. This was a major incident the country wasn't prepared for. There's no sophisticated equipment up in these villages. Uh, these are people who lived hand to mouth. You know, the backdrop here in Afghanistan is that we're suffering the worst drought for 37 years. There's a malnutrition crisis. There's the spread of um, preventable diseases such as acute watery diarrhea and measles. So these communities um, are, are weakened by months and years of, of challenges. And so this has come at exactly the wrong time. The de facto government sent helicopters to help lift the injured to safety. But on the ground, in these hard-to-reach areas, without a major international aid presence, treating people is proving difficult. They'll be taken to the regional hospitals, but already we're hearing that those hospitals are inundated. There's patients on the floor, uh, so they'll be taken uh, further afield. Um, the mobile health and nutrition teams will be setting up uh, more tents uh, for triage uh, to treat those um, who are injured as well. Neighbouring Pakistan and Iran have said they're prepared to help the Afghan authorities with any support they need. But with lots of rain over the last 48 hours and forecast for more, the worry of landslides and flooding is now prominent. And so a plea for further international support. When such a big incident happens in any country, there is a need for help from other countries. It is very difficult for us to be able to respond to this huge incident. We ask the international community to cooperate with us and continue their support. This is Afghanistan's deadliest natural disaster for more than 20 years. And with a backdrop of drought, a hunger crisis and abandonment from the international community, its effects are catastrophic. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News, Pakistan.